Hey everyone and welcome to episode 94 of Unboxing Wednesdays for books arriving in stores on Wednesday, August 15th, 2012. This is not Rob. This is Ricky Lima. The reason Rob's not here today is, well, look at all the boxes that are here. It's, uh, it's a little bit more than usual. So Rob has seen fit to abandon us. But that's okay, because right about now, Ricky... He's going to open some boxes with his hands. <laughs> All right, first up today, we've got these retro-inspired Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures from Playmates. As it says on the box, they are inspired by the classic figures, but they're much bigger and much more detailed uh, and articulated than the old figures were. Very cool. This is uh, Donatello. 34 points of articulation. Here's Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Raphael. Here is a League of Mad Scientists shirt. And this is really cool. It's a uh, Captain America uniform t-shirt. Today sees the release of the Justice League Hero Clicks from DC. This is the Fast Forces pack. It contains Cyborg, Batman, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, and The Flash, and Superman. Here is the Justice League single booster display. We're gonna crack this open. And here's what the display looks like when it's all unpackaged. And we're going to go ahead and open up one of these hero clicks because what would an episode of Unboxing Wednesdays be without a hero clicks unboxing? All right, let's see what's in the box. And we have Mr. Green Arrow, or just Arrow, as the CW network likes to call him. I love it when people come into the store and just buy a bunch of these and open them all up in front of us. It's like the most awesome thing. We've also got some Halo 4 figures in today from McFarlane Toys. This is the Elite Zealot. This is Grunt Storm, Spartan Warrior, and everybody's favorite, Master Chief. All right, moving on to the collected editions, we have Hawk and Dove Volume 1. This collects the complete Hawk and Dove series that was part of the New 52 relaunch. G.I. Joe Disavowed Volume 6 collects some of the old Devil's Do stuff. Hulk Season 1, a modern retelling of Hulk's origins. Ultimate Comics Spider-Man Volume 1, now in softcover. And Cable Classic Volume 3. Astonishing X-Men, Children of the Brood. This is Volume 8. Now back in reprint, we've got Green Lantern and Green Arrow by Denny O'Neill and Neil Adams. Let's reprint some of those classic tales from back in the 70s. Good stuff. From IDW, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classics Volume 1. This contains some of the earliest Ninja Turtles stories now in color. BPRD Hell on Earth Russia. I'm sure there's a uh, in Soviet Russia joke somewhere in there, but I, I can't think of one right now. Moving on to the smaller press books, we have Witchblade, Demon Reborn Issue 1, Vampirella vs. Dracula Issue 6, from Boom Studios, Extermination Number 3, Fatal Number 7, G.I. Joe Number 16, Kaboom Studios, Peanuts Issue 1 of 4, this is a new miniseries, the first Peanuts miniseries, uh, Issue 1, was a complete sellout and ended up being a highly sought after book. The Crow Number 2 from IDW. Voltron number seven, Battle Beast number two, Sonic Universe number 43, Pathfinder, the comic book series based on the uh, open source role playing game that's very similar to Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, this is the first issue, and with it comes a playable map and uh, some character stats based on the people in the story. A new series from Michael Avon Oming today, it's The Victories, issue one of five. From Aspen Comics, we have Homecoming, issue one. This covers by Michael Turner, and here is the second cover. Call of Wonderland, number three, from Xenoscope. From Valiant, we have Harbinger, issue three, and Bloodshot, issue two. Walking Dead, issue 100. This is the second print featuring new character Negan and his bat Lucille. Here's Walking Dead issue 101. There's a special uh, Walking Dead issue 101 ghost variant that was sent to select retailers uh, today. And I'm not sure what Image's criteria was for deciding which retailers to give that variant to. But alas, we didn't receive any here at Stadium Comics. It's a pretty cool looking cover. I've seen, I've seen it selling for about 80 bucks on eBay. Speaking of cool looking Walking Dead covers... Maybe the reason we didn't get the ghost variant was because we got one of these. This is the Walking Dead uh, 100 special retailer appreciation variant. 
There's only 500 of these in existence. It's signed by Robert Kirkman and features... I know it's hard, I know it's hard to see with the glare, but it features Lucille the Bat there. As I said, only 500 of these were sent out. We were one of the lucky stores to get one, so we're extremely happy to add this to our collection. Here we have a second printing of Saga issue 5. Here is the much anticipated 6th chapter of Saga. Can't wait to read this one. A book that's caught a ton of people by surprise is Revival. Issue 1 I was telling everyone was going to be a huge hit. They kind of sat on our shelves for a while and as soon as word of mouth spread about the book, our shelves were quickly depleted. This is issue 2. We couldn't be happier for Tim Seeley and Mike Norton to be getting some awesome reviews on this title. Okay, moving on to DC Comics. We have The Shade, issue 11. Blue Beetle, number 12. Captain Adam, number 12. Legion of Superheroes, number 12. Birds of Prey. DC Universe presents Kid Flash. This is issue 12. Wonder Woman, number 12. And the Wonder Woman variant. Supergirl, issue 12. Here's Batwoman, number 12. Here's the Batwoman variant. Catwoman issue 12, Horrors of the Dollhouse. This cover just looks all kinds of creepy. Red Hood and the Outlaws issue 12 with a very Star Wars-esque cover. That's kind of cool actually. Here's Nightwing number 12, Green Lantern Corps number 12, and here is Green Lantern number 12. And this says the blackness reaches Earth. If you're wondering what's going to happen, Hal Jordan, being that there's a new Green Lantern of Earth that's going to be introduced in the next little while, and ever, all the reports are saying that Hal Jordan's missing, the end of this issue gives you an indication of where Hal Jordan's future lies. Here is the combo pack cover and the variant cover. Brian Azzarello and Lee Bermeo bring us Rorschach issue one, part of the Before Watchmen storyline. This is the one Before Watchmen book that I know a lot of people have been anticipating. Cover is actually kind of cool if you look really close at it. You've got Rorschach's face here with Rorschach within the face. And then if you look closer at Rorschach's face, there's another Rorschach there. And it goes on and on and on. Here is the combo pack cover and the Rorschach variant cover. Let's take a look at Marvel. Here we have the Hulk number 56. Nobody cares about Hulk. It's racist. Nobody dude. cares about him. It's because he's red. If he's green, you'd like him. Dark Avengers number 179, X-Factor number 242, penciled by our good friend Mr. Leonard Kirk. He's doing an awesome job on this book. Uncanny X-Force number 29, X-Men number 34, Captain Marvel number 2. This cover's modeled after that uh, famous We Can Do It poster from World War II. New Mutants, Fight the Future part 1 of 3, this is issue 47. Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe Issue 3, the surprise hit of the uh, late summer season, I would say. Not too surprising, though. I mean, Ricky and I did talk about it on an episode of Previews Reviews, and we did talk about how it was going to be an awesome book. Just saying. We've seen Deadpool run through a whole bunch of Marvel's finest heroes in the first two issues and uh, completely and utterly destroy them, ending their lives. Who will he kill in this issue? That's the question everyone's asking. I'm sure that there's several hints given on this cover page. There's a flaming Professor X wheelchair, a Wolverine mask in Deadpool's hands, and we see Cyclops' visor down here at the bottom. It looks like he's going after the X-Men in this issue. And here's just regular, old, uh, normal Deadpool, issue 59. Here's Avengers Academy number 35. Daredevil issue 17. This issue is drawn by Mike Allred and his visual style really fits uh, the way that the Daredevil title has been drawn over the last year or so. So it's awesome to see him on this series. Sensational Spider-Man 33.2, part of the ongoing 50th anniversary celebration. They've extended this series by a uh, second issue. Here's Amazing Spider-Man issue 691. Here's the 691 variant cover. Avengers number 29 is an AVX tie-in. And here is Avengers vs. X-Men round 10. Only two issues away after this from the uh, ending of Avengers vs. X-Men. We all know what comes after the ending of this book. We have the Marvel Now relaunch. So it'll be interesting to see how these last three issues tie up the storyline and bring everything together. Here is the Avengers vs. X-Men round 10 uh, Avengers team variant with Spider-Woman colored in and here's the X-Men team variant with Gambit colored in and this is by Umberto Ramos. 
Here is the colored in team variant. This is the one in 25 variant. The one in 50 variant by Adam Kubert. Here's the one in 100 variant by Nick Bradshaw. And the one in 200 sketch variant also by Nick Bradshaw. We're gonna talk about contests in just a second, but I wanna tell you all about something that's brand new to our website. We've partnered with Comixology to bring you the best selection of digital comics if you go to our website, stadiumcomics.com, we've got two digital storefronts to serve you. One is a DC Comics specific storefront that Comixology has set up on our behalf. And uh, through that website, you can get all kinds of releases from DC and Vertigo, from the classic stuff, right up to the new 52 stuff that's released today. Plus there's lots of digital first titles, such as Legends of the Dark Knight, which hasn't made its way to print yet. Uh, Superman Beyond, Amikami Girls, all of this stuff is available digitally through the Stadium Comics DC digital store. We also have our regular digital storefront, which gives you access to publishers such as Marvel, Image, IDW, Boom Studios. The list goes on and on. There's over 50 publishers available. Again, most of the stuff is available digitally the same day as print. At Stadium Comics, our priority is still very much serving the print comic customer. But we do realize that there are a lot of people out there who are technophiles, people on the go, or people that are just uh, trying to cut down on the amount of space their comic collections take up. And for those customers, digital has been a great option for them. And we want to be able to start servicing those customers now. And the awesome thing is, is if you're not close enough to come to Stadium Comics in person and buy your comics, you can now buy your digital comics from us online. So I'm expecting all of you out there to uh, spend a little money so that we can afford to pay Ricky this week. Boy's hey, gotta you. eat. Boy's gotta eat. He needs a roof over his head. If you're gonna buy digital anyways, you might as well buy it from us. We would appreciate uh, the support. Last week, I asked you guys what you think of the new Valiant Universe. If you've read any, uh, what your thoughts were on it. Um, if you were planning to or not planning to read Valiant, we were gonna give you a copy of Archer and Armstrong, issue one. Uh, Ultimate Fan 852 responded to us and said, I read Harbinger number one and I thought it was amazing. This was my first comic that wasn't from DC or Marvel. I, I love how well they've relaunched their universe so perfectly for new readers like me. I'm looking forward to future Valiant books to come. And I think that's what it's all about. I think over the last year we've seen a lot of these publishers like Valiant and Image Comics put out material that's so appealing and, uh, and just so well written and well drawn that it's bringing people that have up until now only bought mainstream superhero comics over to the uh, non-superhero side of the fence. And I think people are discovering there's a lot of good titles out there that aren't just superhero stories. Not that there's anything wrong with superheroes. I love superheroes. Maybe a little too much. But uh, it's good to see that there's such a wide variety of content available out there for us to enjoy. Ricky also took the liberty of drawing a Disco Kevin on this piece of paper. No word as of yet if that will be made into a print <laughs> alongside of Tiger Ricky. Uh, probably not. For this week's contest, I want to give away a copy of either the Umberto Ramos X-Men variant or the Umberto Ramos Avengers variant. And what we want to ask you guys out there is 10 issues into Avengers vs. X-Men, whose side of the fence are you on? Do you still side with the Avengers or the X-Men? Have your allegiances changed over the course of this miniseries? Ricky, you still an X-Men guy? No, I was before, but this really? Phoenix stuff has turned him into a little bit of jerks. You'll be happy to know that Rob and I, the true representatives of Stadium Comics, are still firmly in the X-Men camp, and we stand by our decision to back the X-Men right from the beginning. Even though they're killing people, Kevin? Sometimes, uh, you know, <laughs> sometimes you got to do what's necessary, Rick. The best answer from the week will win a copy of the Variant, uh, related to their choice of who they support. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out all the other awesome shows on our channel, such as Previews Reviews, starring myself and this guy back here. Flavorful Reviews, starring this guy back here and his friends. Writing Comics 101, starring this guy back here. Our free comic book day and hero initiative videos starring the artists and this guy right here. I'm, I'm starting to notice a theme here. 
Too much Ricky on our channel. I need a raise. It's <laughs> not going to happen. Come not on, happen. like 10 cents. 10 cents? We'll talk. Maybe five. Maybe yeah. five cents. Again, don't forget to check out our digital comic store, and you can connect with us on any of the websites you see listed here on your screen. Take care, everyone. Enjoy your comics this week, and we'll see you all next time for episode 95.